My name is Melissa Mines Vandebert, and I'm the head of Archive Special Collections and Digital Initiatives here at the Bradshaw Library at FGCU. The intention for the exhibition really came initially from my desire to want to do something to honor the 75th anniversary of the liberation. But I really wanted to focus on the courage and the heroes and the survivors. And then I heard about the Swedish Red Cross White Bus Rescue Action. So I was interested in this story of these men and women who risked their lives to save 15,500 men and women, and children, of course. The purpose of this exhibit is to not only commemorate the liberation of concentration camps, but to preserve the true history of the Holocaust. I'm a public history major here at FGCU. I focus specifically in memory. This exhibit goes really well with that because this mission hasn't been remembered in the US. We did a research trip where we followed the women's footsteps. We actually got to go to Ravensbrück, which was the concentration camp that we're focusing on here. We got to walk in the footsteps of the people that we've been studying for months. And while in southern Sweden, we selected 23 pieces, individual items created by the women and children themselves. In our exhibit, we're showing items from women and children who are rescued. People will also see the story of an American girl who was in the wrong place at the wrong time. She was at Auschwitz and survived, and then was taken to another concentration camp, which is Ravensbrück, and she was rescued by the white buses. We're trying to walk us through the steps of the survivors from where they were imprisoned in the concentration camp to where they found freedom in Malmo Harbor in Sweden. And the images that we have here in the show are the day that they make it to Sweden. So it's the first day that they're actually finding freedom. I think that this exhibit is important because a lot of the people that were involved with the rescue were volunteers. There were a lot of people college age, actually. One of the women, um, Wanda, was 22. When she became involved with this, she was actually a spy, and she went into camps. If you knew somebody in a camp, you could visit them, and she extracted names from people in the camps, and they used those names to rescue people in the camps. It shows that anybody can make a difference. We want people who experience this exhibit to challenge themselves by asking, what am I doing now to prevent this from happening again or to help people going through something similar to what these women went through today?